It began with a small vineyard planted next to his home, located in Ramat Raziel in the Judean hills, 20 kilometers outside of Jerusalem. What started out as a hobby for Eli Benzaken turned into a fully-fledged family affair, a labor of love as the art of winemaking swiftly turned Benzaken's hobby into one of Israel's top wineries. Domaine de Castel not only received local recognition, but international acclaim, enjoying a favorable rating by the world's top critics who compared Domaine de Castel wines alongside the best of French wines. In for Life TV met with Eli Benzaken as he supervised the last days of harvesting tons of grapes, brought in from the vineyards, thrown into the stem remover and grape crusher, before being funneled through hose-like tubes to rows of shiny vats, to sit before being transferred to long rows of barrels in the winery cellars. Uh, the harvesting is, uh, lasts about uh, a month and a half, uh, or six to seven weeks. We start with the whites, uh, and then we, we follow the evolution of maturity. On the whole, we, we harvest about uh, a fortnight, uh, about 14 days, but uh, they are spread out. We make around an average of around 100,000 bottles. Benzaken says that while he's perhaps considered as one of Israel's first modern-day wine producers and one of the leaders of Israel's boutique wine era, the region where his vineyards are located used to be a well-known winemaking area back in the biblical days when wine was made for the temple this region was in biblical times or before even making wine and on these hills wines were made for the temple so really uh, we don't really know what, how the, what the wines tasted but certainly it was recognized as a wine producing region Israel modern wine industry starting uh, end of the 19th century with Edmond de Rothschild didn't think that this region was a, an interesting uh, growing region and uh, the small plot next to the house which is on the Grand Van label is the first <laughs> vineyard although very small but the first vineyard uh, in modern Israel uh, planted in the, in the Judean hills. Domaine de Castel produces both red and white wines. The white wine is Chardonnay, the red wines are blends of Cabernet Sauvignon, Merlot, Petit Verdot, Cabernet Franc and Melbach. Ben Zaken explains the difference. We only produce three wines. Uh, one, the white is a Chardonnay. It's uh, made uh, very much in the Burgundy style. It is barrel fermented. It is uh, aged in barrels. It's a wine with a potential of uh, aging potential, a very good aging potential. And then we make two reds, uh, very much in the in the Bordeaux style of uh, the chateaus, that means you have a Grand Vin, which is uh, the best wine the winery produces. And then we have a second wine, uh, the Petit Castel. Both are Bordeaux blends. Uh, we have all, all five of Bordeaux grapes. Uh, the vineyard is, is planted mainly with Cabernet, but we also have Merlot and Petit Verdot, uh, Cabernet Franc and uh, Malbec in this order of importance. And in the end, it is a blend, and this is what's uh, fantastic about, uh, about Bordeaux grapes, is that each of the grapes, uh, Bordeaux wines, each of the grapes brings something to the wine. Down in the cellars below, we viewed the long rows of wooden barrels containing the Domaine de Castel wines. What we see here is uh, it's the Petit Castel uh, 07, uh, it will be bottled uh, February, March. Behind us we have uh, the Grand Vin 07 and 06. The 06 will be bottled in uh, November. We, we don't have much uh, leeway on when to bottle. The white, yes, because we could bottle earlier. Uh, the Grand Vin is either 20 months or 24 months because we have to empty the barrels into the vats upstairs. Uh, 
Uh, the petite castel, uh, we have a li- more leeway. It could be earlier or later. Domaine de Castel is very much a family affair. It's no coincidence that Eli Benzaken chose the label for his bottles and the winery slogan of a fortress with three stars. The three stars represent each of his children, and the fortress or castle that appears underneath is based on the chain of castles built by the Crusaders on the road to Jerusalem. Wine is said to be beneficial for one's health. Whether the claims are true or not remains to be seen. But without a doubt, the wines produced by Domaine du Castel are definitely a worthwhile indulgence.